dear students uh, this is our 17th lecture on bio organic chemistry and continuing our uh, discussion on enzyme catalyzed reactions today in this lecture we will discuss about condensation reactions condensation reactions they are one of the most common methods uh, for the formation of carbon carbon bond in uh, organic chemistry as well as uh, bio organic chemistry and uh, in case of enzyme catalyzed condensation reaction uh, the aldol type reactions they are very important and in these aldol type reactions what happens is that uh, alpha carbon of an aldehyde or ketone uh like uh, this type of substrate adds to the carbonyl function of the other aldehyde or ketone to yield beta hydroxy aldehydes or ketones uh if we use uh, two different aldehydes or ketones uh, in solution for these condensation reaction then a mixture of all possible products will be formed in these types of aldol reactions and the aldol reaction uh, was uh, invented in way back 1872 uh, by a russian scientist uh, where he first observed the formation of aldol 3 hydroxy butanal from the self condensation of acetaldehyde and uh, he used uh, catalyst like hydrochloric acid or zinc chloride as the catalyst for these types of uh, aldol condensation reactions the uh, geometry of uh, these reactions uh, aldol type reactions uh, depends on the type of base uh, which we use during the reaction conditions and nature of the substituents which are present in the substrate uh, if we use a strong base like uh, lithium diisopropyl amide lda and uh, reaction is performed at uh, low te uh, low temperature with shorter reaction times then kinetic product which is formed through kinetic enolate is the main product whereas if we use a weak base like hydroxide ions and the reaction conditions are high temperature and longer reaction time this will favor the formation of thermodynamic enolate so depending upon uh, the type of enolate formed we will get the geometry of the product which is formed in these aldol condensation reaction so for example if we are having this type of carbonyl compound with a strong base first we will get a, a, a kinetic enolate and that kinetic enolate can further be transformed into more stable thermodynamic enolate on reaction with another molecule of carbonyl compound then background of these reactions is uh, that when two different carbonyl compounds are involved in aldol condensation this will lead to the formation of diastereomers and the amount of diastereomer formed will depend on the reaction conditions and nature of the substituent reaction conditions means the kind of base which we are using what is the temperature of the reaction what is the time of the reaction so these condition will determine in addition to nature of the substituent that whether we will get a syn compound or anti compound or all types of products they will be formed during these types of condensation reactions now under uh, thermodynamic control z and e forms of enolates uh, they are in rapid equilibrium so for example if we see this Uh, substrate when this is reacted with the base uh, under thermodynamic control we will have uh, z enolate formed as well as e enolate formed and that z and e enolate then reacts with 
another molecule of the carbonyl compound and uh, the product distribution whether syn product is formed or anti product is formed in what ratio that will be determined by the relative stability of the six membered chair shaped cyclic transition so this transition state stability will determine that how much of this will be formed and how much of this will be formed that is whether the major product will be a syn product or an anti product that will be determined by the stability of this uh, six membered chair shaped cyclic transition state and uh, transition state that leads to syn product this one here you can see that r1 is in the less stable axial position whereas in case of anti product formation both r and r1 they are in more stable equatorial position so this is the difference between the two so because uh, here both the groups they are in more stable equi uh, more stable equatorial position therefore this uh, transition state will have lower energy and will lead to a major anti product whereas this will have higher energy because one of the substituent is present in less stable axial position so this will lead to uh, uh, a product with uh, higher energy and uh, this product will be formed uh, in minor amounts in comparison to anti product similarly uh, under kinetic control uh, these uh, z and e enolates they are formed rapidly and irreversibly and uh, their relative amount uh, will determine the product distribution that when they are formed that how much of z is formed and how much of e is formed e enolate is formed so their formation is irreversible so uh, the amount formed in the first step will determine that what will be the distribution of the product in terms of syn or anti so for example if we take the case of 2 2 dimethyl pentane 3 ohm the z enolate is uh, normally for, uh, will give us uh, syn diastereomer as the major product uh, uh, of the order of 98% yield of syn product is formed when we use uh, this strong base lithium diisopropylamide as the strong base at minus 70 degree low temperature when this is used we will get 98 percent of syn product whereas uh, when we are using 2 methyl pentane 3 ohm instead of uh, 2 2 uh, dimethyl pentane only difference is here we are having uh, 3 methyl groups here we are having 2 methyl group rest of the conditions are same so because the product is controlled by kinetics then the ratio of uh, the z and e enolate formed here is irreversible and they are formed in one four is to one four times syn product is formed one time anti product is formed so this is how under kinetic control the uh, formation of the product is uh, determined by the amount of uh, Z or E enolates which are formed during the reaction. So uh, the reason for uh, such a behavior uh, must be a steric repulsion of the methyl group. Uh, here in this case it is tertiary butyl whereas here in this case it is a isopropyl group. So when there is a more steric repulsion more of uh, syn product is being formed. 98% exclusively we can say that sim product is formed but if steric repulsion is less then we will get uh, sin to anti ratio in 4 is to 1 then uh, uh, similar behavior is shown in case of enzyme catalyzed aldol reactions so uh, if we s uh, see uh, the, uh, the comparison between uh, the chemical catalyzed uh, aldol condensation and enzyme catalyzed aldol condensation 
in case of uh, enzyme catalyzed aldol condensation we will uh, exclusively get one product that is uh, enzyme catalyzed is a stereo specific in nature uh, enzyme catalyzed aldol condensation is stereo specific in nature and the enzymes uh, which catalyze uh, such condensation reactions they are called as aldolases and they are formed uh, found in all organisms uh, and these enzymes they mainly they are involved in carbohydrate metabolism and uh, some uh, of these also metabolize the few of amino acids and hydroxy acids uh, then these uh, aldolases they catalyze the reversible stereospecific addition of a ketone donor and aldehyde as an acceptor so if we are having a ketone and an aldehyde ketone will always act as a donor and aldehyde will uh, always act as an acceptor and uh, stereochemically uh, there are two types of aldolases uh, which are uh, there for stereospecific aldol condensation type 1 aldolases uh, where the active site of the enzyme uh, contains a lysine uh, residue and uh, which is uh, involved in uh, uh, this is lysine and functional group present is NH2 this will condense with the carbonyl group to give us shape bases uh, with the donor substrate and then this shape base will react with the acceptor molecule uh, and we will get the aldol product and these types of uh, aldolases they are found in bacteria and fungi Similarly, uh, type 2 uh, aldolases, uh, they use uh, metal ion uh, as a cofactor for their activity. Uh, generally, zinc 2 plus ions, they are used and uh, active site in this case is uh, histidine. And uh, uh, first, uh, this will form an inulate with the donor molecule and then that inulate in the presence of the active site will react with the acceptor to give us the aldol products. A few examples of aldol condensation, uh, the dihydroxyacetone phosphate reacts with the D-glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate in the presence of uh, fructose 1,6-diphosphate uh, phosphate aldolase to give us uh, this type of aldol product uh, which is formed. Uh, and uh, the product formed here is a stereospecific product. Only exclusively we will get, get this D-fructose 1,6-diphosphate. No other product will be formed. So, uh, we can see that uh, the enzyme catalyzed aldol condensation is highly stereospecific in nature. Then another type of condensation is chelation condensation. Uh, only difference uh, between chelation and aldol condensation is here the carbonyl containing acceptor molecule is an ester or thioester instead of aldehyde or ketone. And the product formed is beta keto ester or beta keto thioester depending upon the uh, type of uh, acceptor molecule which we use. If we use an ester, the product will be beta keto ester. If we use a thioester, the product will be beta keto thioester. And uh, in case of uh, these uh, inulate uh, formation in case of thioesters is uh, 100 times faster than the corresponding esters because here the alpha hydrogens uh, in case of thioesters they are more acidic as compared to the esters. So, uh, this enzyme catalyzed chelation condensation, uh, this differs from aldol condensation uh, in its mechanism because here the new carbon-carbon bond formed uh, is formed with inversion of configuration. Whereas in aldol condensation, the product with new carbon-carbon bond formed is with retention of configuration. So, this is the difference between aldol condensation and chelation uh, condensation. So, this is the mechanism for an uh, thiolase uh, catalyzed condensation of 
टू मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ एसाइल को एसाइल को एंजाइम ए थायोस्टर्स सो वैन टू मॉलिक्यूल्स दे कंडेंस विद ईच अदर इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ थायोलेस को एंजाइम ए वन मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ को एंजाइम ए इज एलिमिनेटेड इन दिस वे दीज आर द एक्टिव साइट्स प्रेजेंट ऑन द एंजाइम वन एक्टिव साइट इज एक्टिंग एज ए बेस दिस विल अबस्टेक्ट प्रोटीन ऑन द प्रोटोन ऑन द अदर एक्टिव साइट एंड दिस विल अटैक द इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक कार्बन ऑफ द कार्बोनाइल ऑफ वन मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ एसाइल को एंजाइम थायोस्टर विद द एलिमिनेशन ऑफ वन मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ को एंजाइम ए एंड वी विल गेट दिस टाइप ऑफ एंजाइम सबस्टेट कॉम्प्लेक्स विच इज कोवलेंट इन नेचर बिकॉज ए कोवलेंट बॉन्ड इज फॉर्म बिटवीन एंजाइम एंड द सबस्टेट दैन दिस विल एक्ट एज एन सेप्टर बिकॉज दिस बेस एज एक्टिव साइड विल अब्सट्रैक्ट दिस प्रोटोन ऑन द अदर मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ एसाइल को एंजाइम थायोस्टर and this will act as a carbonyl and attack the carbon uh, which is electrophilic in nature with the elimination of uh, uh, with the breaking of this carbon sulfur bond uh, so that uh, this uh, enzyme is eliminated to give us a collision product of this type thank you very much